Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Mick. I'm Brenda. More like Dwayne Dibley. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our van Foxy. Foxy baby. <laughs> right, hope you enjoy watching us and uh, see how we're getting on doing our little build. So we've had a couple of deliveries. The first one is this, uh, it's upside down now, isn't it? That's the right bit. It's this sound deadening stuff, which everybody has been telling me to get. I've watched a million videos uh, and this seems to be the stuff. So let's open it up. I wonder if they'll be enough. Yeah, so it's this stuff, which uh, apparently if you stick on to about 35, up to 50% on the, on the panels, it's that heavy. It sort of deadens the noise a bit, and that's how it works. It supposedly doesn't have any thermal values at all, but it is silver, so I imagine it does have a little bit. So that's that one. What's in the second parcel, you ask? Let's have a look. We have got a Max fan. Well, it says it's a Max fan. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't. It says it's Max Air, Sky Max. Of course, controversially, we have chosen not to have a fan in the van. Well, not at the moment anyway. Uh, the reason being is, for the last 14 years, we've had a caravan. And we've been away in, well, in the very hottest of uh, UK weather, which has been up to 30 years. I think it even reached 39 degrees last year. And though it was hot, it was all right. And cold weather. Cold and like Brenda said, we've been away in the cold weather as well, and uh, that was alright as well. We didn't have any problems with uh, condensation, and uh, when we were cooking, whether it was hot or it was cold, we don't seem to have had any problems at all with uh, the caravan being smelly. And the caravan's just the same as a van, it's just a, a big tin box uh, with insulation in, so the plan is if I insulate it right, which hopefully I'm going to, then it should be all right. So I'll show you what we have bought. The people we bought it from, which is Jackson's uh, Leisure, they recommend that we check it over first, uh, definitely within the first 24 hours to make sure nothing's broken. So, tip that up. Oh, it's heavy. So it comes in two parts. You've got the, uh, this is the bit, what you will see on the inside. And this is the bit which will be on the top. We went for the smoky version just because I thought it would be uh, diffuse the light a little bit. So this is the bit on the inside and it's uh, you'll notice it's got the 12 volt wire in with it and that's because it's got some light in with it as well. So what have we got here then? We've got all right that's the uh, the bug catcher. Stop all these naughty little critters getting in. And then we've got a blind to go with it as well. So that looks really good. And here's the top, which will open manually, of course, with the bar inside. Just like that. It has a couple of different where I can see. So that's fully open. It looks like it clicks into there, so you can have it so far open. And closed as well. Now I know that it mentioned there's a couple of uh, different ways you can have it and I've just found these in the box so I believe that when you're having it in the van because you'll be sat in the van if you just have these netting in it whistles so they've sent these plastic bits which you can just slot in instead of them and uh, it stops it whistling when you're driving obviously when it's in a caravan you wouldn't notice the whistling noise because you're not in it while it's driving so we'll have to make sure to remember to pop that bits in. Right, so there you go. Uh, which one should we fit first? Hmm, this or the deadening? I don't know. I think I fancy doing this one. Hiya, <laughs> back on it. Remember in the last video when I stupidly um, bought this thing here, but it didn't have any batteries or it didn't have a battery charger either so just a waste of time it's just a metal stick without any power well anyway one of our lovely subscribers has actually donated some money uh for us to help us do the van up and we're just so overwhelmed and uh 
he won't want us to mention who it is but you know that's just fantastic much much appreciated so just so you know this is what i bought with it so we've got a cordless jigsaw and this has the battery and the charger with it and i've tried them out and uh, yeah they're pretty good so thank you very much for that really appreciate it this is the tool with the scraper attachment on and it's uh, pretty good actually it's uh, getting rid of all that horrible residue which was left behind uh, god knows what it was I was trying to get rid of the uh, anchor attachments that are fastened to the bottom of the van but obviously they wouldn't unscrew so I've had to uh, grind a few of them out Yes, I should have glasses on. Yeah. Go find some glasses. Meanwhile, on the outside of the van, it had all these horrible bits of paint that were left on, and uh, Brenda thought she would try to get it off with a bit of white spirit. I didn't think it would be any good, but she was determined and gave it a jolly good rub, and look at the success. Well done, Brenda. So the outside of the van is all sparkly clean now, but what about the inside? That's dusty as hell. Oh, it's sad times. Our lovely little, well, not so little, our lovely big Ford Cougar. <laughs> it's been so good, it's gone today. So we're just going to give it a clean up and uh, ready for the people to take it away but that is financing foxy over there so yeah all's good well this is our lovely caravan which sadly we will be selling we've had some wonderful times in it over the last 14 years or so uh, we've even been right down the south of France, almost as far as Spain. Uh, but we're just getting a bit too old to be pulling it around. So what we're doing today is we're coming in to have a look at the layout in here and to see if we can transfer this into Foxy the Van because we really like this layout. So we are thinking of having like, that would be a seat in the van, but you shape around. So we just want to know the length does the length work and everything or will it be just too big for the van right easy these guys nicking my car <laughs> cheers thanks for the money what we've been doing is laying out the layout what we think we're going to have uh, starting with these chairs here we're going to take these out and hopefully put a swivel chair in there hopefully we don't think we can put a swivel chair in there because of this big handbrake <laughs> that's sort of in the way anyway that can come out be nice and recovered and that slots just in there perfectly so you know can have a little seat there and you can look out at the wide ocean and whatever we have and this this is a toilet and we think we've got enough room there to be able to get in and uh, this will be covered all the way to the top so it's enough room there for my little legs <laughs> and that's a bit disgusting isn't it that's not the toilet by the way we are getting the toilet and then over here we're going to have a wardrobe now the wardrobe's not going to start till about that high going up over this is this square on the floor because this is our seating area so we've chose to have like a U area so I'll be there with my big massive long legs I'll be sat here and look, my feet will tuck underneath the wardrobe then we've got garage space at the back there but you'll still be able to sit on it and then Brenda's little legs can fit there finish there kitchen we think that's wide enough for a kitchen and uh, top cupboards and that's it sorted I think so if you've enjoyed this video 
and give us a thumbs up and please subscribe that will be really helpful and uh, we'll catch you next time when I promise we will get around to putting the uh, sound deadening on. Okay, catch you next time.